Alright, what's up, Jan Mienzas? Hold on. Let me take out the, the headphones. What up, Jan Mienzas? Back for another cheesesteak review. Finally, finally got it in. We're trying pet King of Steaks. King. Now, if Steve's is the prince, that's got to be the poppy, right? Now, everyone knows about this place. I personally think it's a tourist trap. But, you know, you still got to try it out. I haven't had one of these bad boys in years, actually. I think it's been like six, seven, maybe even eight years since I've had a pad steak. I used to play soccer right there, right across the street in the park. And I still never came here. So, I honestly don't know what to expect. This was probably the fastest cheesesteak I've ever seen made. I'm talking whiz wit. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't get whiz wit. I don't know why I said whiz wit. I got American wit and like five seconds later it was done. Uh, looking at it, it's, I mean, kind of oily at the bottom. Not sure if I like how they did this little wrap John but uh cheese in the milk is is really what's what's getting to me right now you see that and I like my cheese a little bit more melted almost like a sauce but starving first bite All right, so uh, right there, a mouthful of stale freaking bread and oil. We ain't off to a hot start, boys. Like, come on, Pat. So I expect better from you. I'm not getting nothing. I'm three bites in, and I'm not getting nothing. Uh, onions are freezing as well. Like, it's like a cold cut, bro. It's supposed to be a steak sandwich, piping hot. No steam coming off this thing. I think this is the first slab steak that I actually haven't liked. You know, this is, this is just a pick em steak for me, honestly. It's just like a pick me steak. It's there. It exists. There's like no flavor. Actually, I don't know why I said there's like no flavor. There's absolutely no flavor. Onion somehow no flavor. Steak is like... You know? No power. It's kind of thick. You know, now I'm in the middle of the sandwich. There is lots of steak there. It's very thick, but again, it, it just seems rushed. Like the whole process from you know the the stove top to the steak itself. It all just seems like it was sped up way too much, and. I don't know what I expect to come here, honestly. I, this, this is probably why I didn't come here. Um, because I know that that it wasn't going to be my favorite. But still, this is very... Uh, for me personally, it's very disappointing. Honestly. Um, it's, a, it's a rough day at the ballpark. But we'll give him one last bite, and then we'll get a number down. Oh, 
like, look at the oil on this thing. That's actually impressive. Very, very impressive. I got with all here. I got with wine. Look at that foam job. Alright. Score wise, you're either gonna love it or hate it. For me personally, I I can't in good good confidence giving anything over it. A five. I'm sorry. It's just that's just me personally. Yeah, you know, I know a lot of people love this spot, but it's just not doing it for me. Yeah, you know, Angelo's right down the road. Right down the road, miles ahead. But that's gonna be it for today's review. And if you guys enjoy it, please remember to hit that like button. I'll see you guys next time.